right here in South Florida, we will experience a partial solar eclipse, and there's a lot to do across our area leading up to the big day. Here is CBS News Miami's Trish Christakis. Although we will only see a partial solar eclipse in South Florida, there's plenty to do leading up to it, starting at the Frost Science Museum in Miami. On hands on activities led by our educational staff. We're going to be doing a fun com comedic eclipse based science show as well in our ocean gallery on stage. That'll be going on every day, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And of course, we have our fun and entertaining uh, eclipse planetarium show. At the Frost Museum, you'll get a pair of these solar eclipse glasses so you can safely view the sun. You can also get them for free at Miami Dade Public Library. They're really the only thing that you can see out of these is the sun itself. If you're in Broward County, the public library is giving out free solar eclipse glasses to cardholders. So you can watch a solar eclipse at these locations. Broward County Parks are hosting viewing events at Long Key Nature Center and Fox Observatory. This is happening Monday from 1.15 p.m. till 4.15. And at Fort Lauderdale's Museum of Discovery and Science, they're hosting a viewing as well. They'll have eclipse-themed activities for all ages leading up to the eclipse, as well as a cosmic journey in the Geodome Planetarium. If by chance you miss out on a free pair of eclipse glasses, don't stare into the sun. Here's what you can do. If you have a colander or a piece of paper with a hole in it, you can actually make a pinhole camera, hold it up, and look down at the shadow that it casts. If you do that through the hole that you've created, you'll actually see the eclipse projected on the ground in front of you. In Miami, Trish Krasakis, CBS News, Miami. Monday, join us for our streaming special, South Florida Solar Eclipse 2024. We'll bring the watch parties to you starting at 2.45 p.m. streaming on CBS News Miami, on Pluto TV, and the CBS Miami app.